Of all Pleistocene predators, none were as iconically feared as the saber-toothed cats. Yet we still debate how they really hunted and looked beyond their fangs. These apex carnivores emerged and reshaped ecosystems, etching their mark into legend. Within their ranks, there's one unmistakable icon, the saber-toothed cat. This prehistoric feline is so well known that its name has become synonymous with ultimate ferocity. But what if I told you that even with such a familiar image of those fearsome fangs, we've only seen their bones. Even with thousands of fossils, paleontologists have relied on skeletal fragments to piece together these ancient predators, leaving massive gaps in our understanding of what they actually look like. In 2020, something extraordinary emerged from the frozen ground of Siberia that would change everything we thought we knew about saber-toothed cats. A perfectly preserved kitten frozen for over 35,000 years in the permafrost revealed secrets that bones alone could never tell us. This wasn't just another fossil discovery, this was a complete window into the past. For decades, paleontologists have pieced together the story of saber-toothed cats from scattered bone fragments, partial skulls, and isolated teeth. These incomplete remains force scientists to make educated guesses about muscle structure, fur patterns, and body proportions. The reconstructions we see in museums and movies are often artistic interpretations based on limited skeletal evidence. What emerged from that Siberian ice challenged nearly every assumption. The popular image of saber-toothed cats comes largely from Hollywood depictions and artistic reconstructions that may have gotten it completely wrong. We picture lean tiger like predators with prominent fangs and sleek bodies. But this frozen homotherium Latidens cub told a different story entirely. Its dark brown fur was thick and dense, unlike anything paleontologists expected. Most striking was its unusually thick muscular neck, a feature that skeletal remains had never fully revealed. This single specimen forced scientists to reconsider fundamental questions about saber-toothed cat evolution. The cub's anatomy showed that these predators were equally related to both modern tigers and house cats, occupying a unique position on the evolutionary tree. The Macherodontini clade, which includes all saber-toothed cats, suddenly required complete revision in terms of their relationships to other feline species. The preservation of soft tissues answered questions that had puzzled researchers for generations. Muscle attachment points on fossilized bones finally made sense when scientists could see the actual muscle mass that once surrounded them. The thick neck muscles visible on the frozen cub explained the robust bone structures found in adult specimens. These weren't just powerful predators, they were built completely differently than modern cats. This discovery represented more than just finding an intact specimen. It opened the floodgates for re-examining every piece of evidence paleontologists had collected over the past century. Thousands of fossil fragments previously interpreted one way now require fresh analysis. Scientists began questioning long-held beliefs about hunting behavior, social structure, and ecological roles. The frozen kitten proved that our understanding of these ancient predators was based on incomplete information. Every museum reconstruction, every scientific paper, and every popular depiction needed to be reconsidered through the lens of this remarkable preservation. Scientists started applying this new perspective to reanalyze existing fossil collections, searching for clues they had previously overlooked or misinterpreted. Armed with new insights about saber-toothed cat anatomy, paleontologists transformed into forensic detectives examining ancient bones for clues about a mystery that had puzzled science for decades. These researchers faced an enormous challenge determining how saber-toothed cats actually used those massive fangs when no living examples existed to observe. Multiple theories competed for acceptance from bone-crushing powerhouses to precision slices, but without direct observation, scientists needed another approach. The breakthrough came when researchers discovered that saber-toothed cat fossils showed dramatically different injury patterns compared to dire wolves from the same time period. Uh, this comparison opened an entirely new avenue for understanding prehistoric hunting behavior. The forensic analysis revealed that dire wolves had clustered neck injuries from being dragged by thrashing prey, exactly matching the injury patterns seen in modern wolf packs today. These wolves clearly engaged in prolonged violent struggles with their victims. Saber-toothed cats told a completely different story. Their fossils showed a shocking absence of head and neck injuries, suggesting these predators avoided damage to their precious fangs at all costs. 
This pattern indicated a hunting strategy built around protecting their most important weapons. The evidence pointed toward ambush hunting, where cats used their massive forelimbs to immobilize prey before delivering precise killing bites. Computer simulations and mechanical testing revealed the fangs were twice as thick front to back as side to side, resembling curved knife blades designed for specific cutting motions. This engineering wasn't accidental. The teeth were optimized for slashing through soft tissue rather than crushing bones or maintaining grip on struggling animals. Every aspect of their design supported swift, accurate strikes. Research by Jack Seng uncovered another fascinating detail about how these cats perfected their deadly technique. Juvenile saber-toothed cats retained their baby teeth alongside developing adult fangs for up to 30 months. This double fang stage allowed adolescent cats to practice hunting without risking damage to their permanent canines. The baby teeth acted as stabilizers, providing additional support during the learning phase when young cats developed their precision killing skills. The mechanical testing showed that these fangs required specific angles and motions to be effective. A poorly executed attack could snap the teeth, entirely ending the cat's hunting career permanently. This vulnerability demanded incredible accuracy and timing with every strike. The forensic evidence painted a clear picture. Sabre-toothed cats were precision killers who hunted alone, not pack hunters like dire wolves. Their entire anatomy supported a strategy of careful stalking, powerful restraint, and surgical strikes. Every injury pattern, every bone structure, and every mechanical test confirm that these cats represented evolution's answer to creating the per perfect ambush predator. This forensic detective work led scientists to examine skull anatomy for even more specific clues about their exact killing technique. The most iconic feature of saber-toothed cats was paradoxically their greatest weakness. Those massive fangs that defined their image created an engineering nightmare that required perfect execution with every single hunt. One wrong move, one poorly angled bite, and their career as a predator ended permanently. Skull morphology analysis revealed something unexpected about these ancient hunters. Their heads weren't designed for crushing bones or hanging onto struggling prey like modern big cats. The robust skull structure housed weaker jaw muscles than lions or tigers, creating a fundamental contradiction. How could such fearsome predators have weaker bite force than their modern relatives? The answer lay in their specialized killing strategy. These cats faced an incredible engineering challenge with every hunt. Their fangs could reach up to 11 inches in length, making them vulnerable to snapping under lateral stress. The teeth were twice as thick from front to back as from side to side, resembling curved knife blades optimized for slashing motions. This design made every hunt a life or death precision operation where accuracy determined survival. Biomechanical studies showed their skulls lacked the muscle attachment points needed for sustained gripping. Modern lions can clamp down and hold struggling prey for extended periods, but saber-toothed cats couldn't afford prolonged battles. They needed to kill quickly and efficiently, delivering surgical strikes that severed major blood vessels or windpipes in seconds. Their body proportions differed dramatically from modern lions supporting this ambush strategy. While lions weigh around 500 pounds, saber-toothed cats pack 600 to 750 pounds of muscle mass onto shorter, more powerful legs. This extra 200 to 250 pounds of muscle provided explosive power for subduing large prey before delivering killing bites. Their reduced lumbar region and short tail further optimized them for grappling rather than pursuit hunting. Evidence suggests they targeted soft tissue areas like throats and abdomens, carefully avoiding bony structures that could damage their fragile fangs. Their wide gape could reach over 110 degrees compared to a lion's 65 degrees, allowing them to accommodate their enormous canines while positioning for precise strikes. Puncture wounds found in Smilodon skulls reveal these cats use their precision killing technique against each other during territorial or mating conflicts. The size and shape of these skull injuries match perfectly with Smilodon's canine teeth, proving they engaged in deadly intraspecific combat. These frontal skull wounds demonstrate that even their social interactions required the same surgical precision they used for hunting. Skull anatomy reveals saber-toothed cats as evolution's ultimate specialist perfectly adapted for one killing technique that made them apex predators. 
every bone structure, muscle attachment, and dental feature supported their ambush strategy. However, this incredible specialization that made them so successful during their reign would prove to be their ultimate downfall when their world began changing. Evolution's most perfect killing machine became a victim of its own success when the world changed around it. The very specializations that had made saber-tooth cats apex predators for millions of years transformed into fatal weaknesses as the last ice age came to an end. Their precision engineered anatomy optimized for one specific hunting strategy left them unable to adapt when their entire ecosystem collapsed. Climate change at the end of the last ice age transformed their hunting grounds from open steppes to dense forests, eliminating the ambush advantages these cats had relied upon for survival. The vast grasslands where they had perfected their stalking techniques gradually disappeared under expanding woodlands. Dense forest environments made their explosive ambush attacks nearly impossible to execute effectively. These cats needed clear sight lines and open spaces to spot prey from a distance, then cover ground quickly for their decisive strikes. The extinction of megafauna removed their preferred large prey, entirely forcing these precision specialists to compete with more adaptable predators like jaguars for smaller animals, massive ground sloths, giant bison, and other enormous herbivores that had sustained saber-toothed populations for millennia vanished from the landscape. Without these large targets, their oversized fangs and powerful grappling muscles became unnecessary burdens rather than advantages. This pattern of declining prey diversity correlating with saber-toothed cat extinctions had repeated throughout their evolutionary history, proving this wasn't their first crisis. However, the scale and speed of change at the end of the Ice Age exceeded anything these cats had previously survived. Increased forestation reduced their hunting success rates dramatically as their ambush tactics required open terrain to function properly. Competitive pressure from other predators like Protoshan intensified the crisis. These more flexible hunters shared similar dietary preferences, but possessed adaptable hunting strategies that worked across multiple environments. While saber-toothed cats remained locked into their specialized approach, competitors adjusted their techniques to exploit changing conditions. Their extreme specialization stood in stark contrast to the adaptability displayed by surviving cat species. Modern jaguars, pumas, and other felines possess generalized hunting abilities that allow them to pursue different prey types using various techniques. Saber-toothed cats sacrifice this flexibility for unmatched efficiency in one specific scenario. The timeline of their extinction coincided precisely with the disappearance of most megafauna around 11,000 years ago. Paleontologists have reconstructed the complete story of how evolution's most perfect predator became trapped by its own evolutionary success. Their extinction reveals the delicate balance between specialization and adaptability in nature. When environments change rapidly, specialists face the greatest risk of disappearing entirely, while generalists survive to populate new ecological niches. Saber-toothed cats represent evolution's ultimate experiment in predatory perfection, demonstrating both the incredible power and inherent vulnerability of extreme specialization. Their story serves as a compelling reminder that even the most successful adaptations can become liabilities when environments change rapidly. This ancient detective work fundamentally changes how we understand extinction and adaptation in our rapidly changing modern world where species face unprecedented environmental pressures. Every fossil tells a story waiting to be discovered. Paleontologists continue rewriting the history of life on Earth with each new find revealing that our understanding of prehistoric worlds remains incomplete and constantly evolving.